11 doesn't look too bad from the outside, but it looked pretty tough on track. What was it like from the cockpit? Yeah, I mean, it is tough. It's uh, Monaco has become an even greater challenge this year. With these cars, it's just all the bumps, many bumps that I didn't know was there, you feel them now. And uh, on, on many of the entries to, to corners, you, you just, the car is so twitchy. So you hit a bump in the wrong way and you lose the rear. So uh, it's, it's very intense and it's, it's still great. Good, I'm glad to hear it's still great. For Q1 though, tomorrow, you must be anticipating the traffic uh, playing into your strategy. Today you were frustrated, I take it, with the Sonoda element? Well, I don't think I said anything, but we, you know, we obviously had a, a moment and, uh, you know, it's, it's very tough out there. It's a small track, we all know that, and it's kind of the same thing every year, but you gotta, you gotta really try hard <clears throat> to not get in people's way because it's, um, it's very difficult. And who are you fighting tomorrow afternoon, do you think? If P11 was on the table today, do you think you can get into that Q3 tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. Um, the tyres are pretty peaky and we we didn't quite hook it up. I'm sure many people didn't hook it up. So at the end of the day, when you get to qualifying and everyone gets their laps at the right time, and so I don't know if, if it's going to move around, but at least uh, we know there's more to come. A little, you know, just a little more, but it only takes a little to move forward. So. Um, I'm optimistic and, and looking forward to uh, the big day tomorrow. When you say the tyres are peaky, just explain the sort of behaviour straight out of the box and how long it's taken to switch them on and how long they're going. Well, they they work quickly, you know, and um, they also go off quite a lot after two, three laps, uh, and also in race pace. Oh well, in long runs, they they go off quite a lot. They they green. Um, so the race is going to be interesting, I think, and uh, there were cars that were four or five seconds off the pace, which is a lot here in Monaco. Still, you couldn't overtake, so uh, we'll see. It's going, to be, uh, it's going to be fun. Tomorrow is still the big day, the, the important day, so uh, we'll give it everything. Uh, we, had a, we had a few issues, uh, especially this morning, so I didn't get to, to run most of, uh, most of FP1, unfortunately, so uh, still, still on... Uh, I'm obviously catching up, but uh, nonetheless, we, yeah, I think we got good, good amount of running in on uh, on the FP2. So uh, just a matter of now, still figuring out what we need from the car to go quicker. Uh, well, we had an MGK issue, so we had to take off the gearbox. That was mainly the problem. Uh, so there was, um, yeah, we did have to fit some new parts in, but uh, nothing that would, I think, in that case, affect the driving. Um, so yeah, should should all be okay. Um, this morning we spoke about the challenges. Well, uh, I, what was definitely uh, well different compared to last year was a lot more bouncy. Uh, I mean, you know, the, the bombs are obviously uh, not filtered, and, and therefore you feel it straight away in your body, which uh, which obviously yeah has an effect uh, not only on the car but also in, in terms of driving. So uh, yeah, the, the approaches were a bit different, uh, and, and the overall feel was a bit different to to last year.